Welcome or welcome back to the Building Belmont podcast. If we haven't met before, my name is Keanu, friend, neighbor, citizen, and also a business owner in this community. Several years ago, over five years ago, my wife and I moved to this community and we fell in love with the people, what it had to offer, and the way that it really takes you in. And I wanted to, in some small way, support that effort to connect people, ultimately bringing people together. They don't have to like each other. They don't have to leave as friends, but connecting people. That was the catalyst for this platform. So if you haven't yet, we've interviewed several business owners in the community, got to capture their stories, go back and listen to some of our episodes. But in this season right now, leading into the November election, our local leadership landscape has the potential to change drastically and change not necessarily being a bad thing but there are four city council seats that are technically up for election and our mayoral seat is up for election given our former mayor charlie martin resigned his seat early due to health issues thank you for your service charlie but with that being said we have current city council member that is running for mayor if they are elected to mayor their seat has to be filled there are three city council members that their seat is up for re-election. Some of them are running for their seat again. Others are moving on. And we have local leaders that want to step up to the plate to lead. So you see, it's very important to get the community involved so you know that you are represented by your local leadership in the issues that you want to address and ultimately the community that you want to raise your family or grow your business in. So in this season, we have partnered with other great organizations to host a forum Thursday, October 19th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. We will have a mayoral forum discussion, then a break to meet candidates, followed by a city council forum and discussion. We will have refreshments. This will be hosted at the Point Church and on Wilkinson in Belmont. So it's a place to connect and understand, get to know more deeply what your candidates are campaigning on, what they feel best represents the community, and to make your voice heard to be able to connect and understand what is going on or the future of our community. So ultimately, just in the beginning, this platform was about connection. It is still about connection. After the election, we will go back to interviewing and connecting with other great business owners, capturing their stories and getting to connect you with them personally. It's very inefficient for a business owner to meet with 12,000 people to tell their story. So if you're new, please like, subscribe, follow all the things in whatever platform you're seeing this on. But for right now, we're going to focus in on the elections. What we're doing now in advance of the forum is introducing you to each candidate. So all of the candidates for city council and, of course, for Belmont City Mayor have been invited to introduce themselves here. Of course, they've all been invited to the forum Thursday, October 19th. And now I am honored to introduce you to them in a short 10-minute episode so they get to share their story, why they're running, and connect you with them. But also share their information if you want to connect with them personally to understand or to share your concerns, or to share your ideas or your vision for the community that you represent. Ultimately, all leadership is only a representation of its people in business and government, and we can't do anything about our landscape really at large as a country as much as we can do here locally. You get to meet these candidates. You get to vote for these candidates and get to understand what they're really running on and express your concerns if you have them. So we'll look forward to seeing you Thursday, October 19th. We will be live and live streaming. So if you want to join in person, there's going to be a chance between the forums to actually address or approach each candidate at the same time. We will be live streaming because this is 2023 and there's no reason anything that we're doing can't be live streamed. So we'll be live streaming to you through the Building Belmont YouTube. So subscribe here so you get notified and you're aware when that does come back around. And again, just like you, I am here to connect and grow my family as a citizen, someone that ultimately enjoys connecting people. And anything that I do, my favorite thing is connection. So that is still the purpose here. That will always be the purpose here. And we look forward to connecting you to your future leadership. Enjoy. Hey, so my name is Charlie Hill, and I'm running for Belmont City Council. I really appreciate your support on November 7th and really appreciate your vote. So a little bit about me. I am a Belmont native, born and bred. I grew up in this town, and I can't tell you all the nice things about this town. I absolutely, positively love this town. I love everything about it, and I think the growth that we have seen over the past 15, 20 years backs that up. We have had a lot of people move here. 
that have really understood what it is to be from Belmont and how great Belmont actually is. And that's kind of what led me to run for Belmont City Council. I want to keep Belmont the small, charming town that it is and not let it become another nameless, soulless uh, suburb of Charlotte. I think what we have here is really great, and I would like to keep it that way. So some of the things that you can expect from me are an improvement on our infrastructure. That is by far what I hear the most about, is everybody is concerned about the developers that have come in and just built these 400 house developments, cashed their check, and rode off in the sunset and didn't put any skin in the game. Would they leave us with the ramifications of the, the intense traffic that we all feel every morning and every afternoon? So part of that plan for me would be to start holding the developers accountable. We got to start making them improve our roadways before they break ground. That's something that I want to try to implement so that we can start seeing some relief on the infrastructure side. The other thing that I am very passionate about is lowering our taxes. Our taxes in this economy cannot be raised. I know our current city council actually did a great job of lowering our property taxes, but I actually think that we can get a little bit lower because in this economy with this inflation, I really want you to keep as much money of as much of your money as possible. I think you are better with your money than the government is at spending your money. So I want you to keep as much of it as possible. The next thing, and I have to applaud our current city council for doing this, they put a restriction in place that uh, basically contained all the apartment building to the 74 corridor. And I think that that was absolutely necessary if we want to stop the bleeding of all this unnecessary, unstrategic growth, we had to do that. And I, a vote for me is a vote for putting that, keeping that in place, I'm sorry, keeping that in place so that we can start addressing more strategic growth elsewhere in the city. Last and not, well, this isn't last, but this is something that I'm very passionate about, uh, having grown up here and being a part of sports, um, as you may or may not know, if you know who I am, um, I grew up playing sports around Belmont. I went on to play baseball in college, played a little bit of pro ball. And now that I have kids, my son is starting to get into sports. And I realized just how far Belmont youth sports has fallen. I had parents of other five-year-olds coming to me and saying, oh, well, we're taking our son to Cramerton Rec, or we're taking our son all the way to Stanley or we're taking them to charitable. And that just blew my mind. That is something that I cannot stand idly by and let happen because I really genuinely believe that sports teaches kids a lot of valuable lessons that they cannot get anywhere else in life. It is a great teacher on how to overcome adversity and it builds future leaders. And because of this, I want to build our youth sports program back up. I guarantee you, most people in Belmont have no clue where Belmont plays Little League Baseball. It's a travesty. We have to do better, and we will do better if you vote for me. Another thing is with Team Belmont, with myself, Jim Hefferin, Jason Rumfelt, and, and Richard Turner, we are very committed to supporting local business. For me, local business, and I know this is a cliche, is the backbone of this city and our country. Without local business and entrepreneurship, we would we were not able to go from 13 scrawny colonies to the world's greatest superpower without small business and entrepreneurship. We have to foster that and we have to build that up. And then lastly is uh, supporting our first responders. As somebody who's been in the United States Air Force for almost 15 years, it's important to me that we support our first responders, our, our firefighters, our policemen, our paramedics. They put service before self every single day. It's one thing to, to think that you're on these uh, committees and that somehow makes you a good uh, civil servant. But these first responders, they're missing birthdays. They're missing Christmas so that they can sacrifice and serve us. And it's time that we put them on the forefront and make sure they know that will give them everything they need. So that's my platform. A little bit about um, myself and a little bit more detail. 
I grew up in Belmont, like I said. After uh, college, I went into the Air Force, where I have spent 15 years, and it's been a it's been a great ride. I've been all over the world. I've been to over 50 countries across five different continents, and there was only one place that I wanted to come back to and settle down and start a family, and that was my wonderful hometown of Belmont. And now that I'm transitioning out of the military and I serve my country, I now want to serve my community. And I really hope that you'll allow me to do that by going on to, on voting day to, to mark Charlie Hill for Belmont City Council. Thank you. Thank you for your service, first and foremost, as a veteran myself, but also for your your focus and your attention to uh, public service. I was a police officer in a past life as well, so understanding and empathizing and connecting, again, all of civil or civic duty, our community, uh, serving our community is important for all of us, but that sacrifice is weighted much differently as it pertains to yeah. responders. So I do appreciate that. With your background in the military or even just your professional background in general, how do you see it correlating in, in whatever capacity into leadership in city council? So that's a great question. So the way I always try to explain it is the United States military has trusted me with a multi-million dollar aircraft and the lives of thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. I have learned a certain leadership style that I like to refer to as a servant leader. I'm down in the trenches with you. I'm not up in my ivory tower making decisions. I'm down in the trenches with you, working with you, alongside of you. And I'm going to bring that leadership style to city council. I it, I can't stand, I'm, as you can tell, I'm not a politician. I'm not somebody that wants to stand around and pontificate about political issues all day. I like to get things done. I want to I just get after it and get things done. So that would be the leadership style that I would bring to the city council. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for being a part of our event that we have coming up, our our candidate conversation and forum. And we'll get to address yeah. those things. You've mentioned several key topics that I am just I'm, I'm grinding my teeth because <laughs> I want to start to have those conversations with you now because all of you have such a unique perspective uh, and experience and also viewpoints about how to deal with those things and also what you can and cannot do as city council, but ultimately leading us through it either way. But we're going to get to do that Thursday, October 19th, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at The Point Church. But of course, before I let you go, how can people engage with you in your campaign before that event or outside of that event? I uh, am very active on social media. You can follow me on Facebook at Charlie Hill for Belmont City Council. Shoot me a friend request. I am always happy to talk. If you have any questions, any concerns, if you see me around Belmont, always come up to me and talk to me. I will happily talk to you. My wife will get annoyed probably, but I will always talk to you. Well, you know, Katie is is a true warrior, and I should say that about all the yes. spouses uh, behind yeah. every candidate because – that's a big role. That's a big burden to take on. Uh, and I just truly do believe in the form of leadership. I'd agree with you. Servant leadership, ultimately, and understanding that it's not about me. It's about those that I lead. That's ultimately, I think, our background in the military. But good leadership would say that. But right. your spouse behind you, that is definitely a heavy burden to bear. So thank you overall for taking time today, of course, for your leadership to our country, but our leadership moving forward. And I'll look forward to seeing you at the event. Thank you. I just real quick. I just want to say one thank you for your service, but also thank you for taking the time to do this. I I know a lot of towns and cities don't get this opportunity to have somebody such as yourself do all this. So I really genuinely appreciate you taking the time to do this and moderate um, the forum um, in the middle of October. So thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, Charlie. Well, all of us uh, come in according to our gifts. This is our community. I think we have an equal responsibility yeah. and whatever that looks like and whatever we have been to be able to offer to serve the community. So I'm happy to do it and I'm happy to continue our conversation then. Awesome. I can't wait. Thank you, Keanu. Thank you.